Hello. Um, I don't know if anybody's watching this, but if anybody's watching this, I just want to put out a, an invitation to anybody uh, to just do improv games. I'm d I really want to do like uh, improv acting. I'm going, I'm going to this improv acting class on Sundays. And really, just like a lot of things, I think to get good at it, it would be good to do it like every day. But, you know, if somebody wants to improv with me, you don't have to do it every day. But basically, um, you know, if I could give you this Snap Camera app, and this Snap Camera app, it makes it so you can just kind of act like a lady. Or you can act like uh, Black Bart, the bank robber. Or you can act like a nerd. Or you can act like an old man. But my theory is that just kind of like everything is just kind of stories. Like people just, it's fun to just kind of like do some talking thing with a person. But like if, if right now I'm trying to, I'm kind of improvising right now. Like I'm just saying some stuff. And when I talk with a person, I can say some stuff. Like we can say like, oh, like that, that war in Israel it's not so good and you know the the Gaza I hope that Gaza gets better and you're kind of improvising but that improvising you could kind of just say anything like you could just say like dude there's a fucking dinosaur coming oh my god there's a dinosaur don't let him get me I'll save you from the dinosaur and that's kind of like more fun but you're just saying shit you're just that's my theory is that people are just saying shit and if people get over the like uh, that's not real. They could just say anything. Like if you, especially if like you just do something on Zoom, there's safety. Like you can just say anything. You don't have to worry about like offending somebody. Nobody's gonna like sexually molest you or anything like that. So what's the point? Just if anybody wants to do improv acting with me on Zoom for like a five minute session, and if I, I think it's more fun to just do it, do it with a costume and be like, I'm death, and I've come to take you away. You can't take me away yet. I'm a little kid. It's not my time yet. Hey, uh, where's the fruit salad? We're all out of fruit salad. Oh man, that sucks that you're out of fruit salad. Off to come back later. Yes, come back later for the fruit salad. You can just say shit. I think it's just fun. I think it would be just fun to just do like five minutes of just, you look at the character and you just commit to whatever the world is nudging you to say. It might be boring, but like most conversations and just, I don't know, most of the ways I spend my time anyway are kind of boring. Anyway, offer stands, I kind of figure like probably nobody wants to do this with me. Actually, I can't, I can't really get anybody to do anything with me at all unless I'm paying for it. Like I go to jujitsu and I, when I go to jiu, nobody's listening, right? But when I go to jujitsu, I'll ask uh, people to come, I'll say, hey, I have a jujitsu gym in my room. And they're like, it doesn't seem like anybody really wants to engage with me in any format. But I can do it at a Zoom class, so I don't know, probably no one's gonna do this, but I'll just, I can't control anybody else, but I can control myself, and so anyway, just for the record, uh, my goal is I'm gonna sign up for one improv class. I wanna go to one improv class per day, and just get like a dose, like, I don't know, like I, nobody cares, but just for the record, like I've been trying to get laid on uh, Tinder, and it seems like, forget sex, like sex is like, that would be like a cool th way to connect with humans, but just forget about sex. Just even just connecting with a human and just listening to them and just saying something back to them. Any human, like man, female, child. I'm not, there's just take sex out of the equation. It would be cool to just have like a back and forth with a human, but just doing like random stuff, just like making up some stories. So that's kind of what I want to do for a while, or at least for like, you know, a little during the day. But I don't know, probably just a lot of people don't want to do that with me, so. What's the point? It's fine. I, I just, I'm going to sign up. But anyway, my goal is to, I want to sign up for a, for one improv class uh, per, I, I just want to do it every day. Basically, uh, instead of just doing the same old sculptures over, I'll do sculptures too, but I want to do, do like an hour of improv a day with like humans. <clears throat> no one's listening, right? But my theory is that like in the near future, a lot of people are going to be doing stuff like this because they're probably going to have, um, they're probably going to have chat bots that just do the same thing. Like once they have, this is going to happen in the near future, but I'm going to shut up a second. But once they have video game characters that can make up stuff on the spot, people are going to be doing improv in real life. And then once they have like virtual reality, people are going to be doing this. Like people are, I'm pretty sure that like people have virtual interaction. They'll just be like, like I can just sit in silence all day 
or I could like talk to some video game character and if the video game character looks and sounds like a real person, I could be like, you son of a bitch, you stole my money and be like, fuck you, like I'm not giving you your money, you gotta do a showdown with me. That could be like fun or at least more fun than if I just stare at my wall all day long. And then, um, you know, people could just do that with like virtual game characters and then my theory is that people are gonna do that with virtual game characters but then sometimes they'll be in virtual worlds where sometimes those people are like real people and then sometimes people will just be walking outside doing stuff with virtual characters and, and people around the world with avatars. And then sometimes they would just be like, hey, like I could actually like talk to real people and you could just do this with like real people too. And I think the world will sort of get more fun. But that's my theory is basically just the world doesn't, re doesn't really offer a lot of opportunities to just like just play with other people. And so I'm just like, why not just like make up your own way to do that? But it's hard to like, it's hard to like get people to do that if you're some like boring old guy it's like people are like i don't really want to play with you what's the point so i might have to wait till they invent bots but i can definitely go to these improv classes so i guess i guess the moral of this video is just i'm gonna try to go to one improv class even on zoom just go on zoom there's i'm gonna go to one zoom improv class per day and just learn how to like basically listen to a human do whatever they're gonna do and then I'm going to try to pay attention to that. And then I'm just going to do whatever I'm going to do. And it's all good. And it doesn't have to mean anything. It doesn't have to be going anywhere. It doesn't have to be. It's just sheer like back and forth. Just like just creativity. And so what's my point? Sounds weird. I realize like nobody's watching this. But it sounds weird. But I really think this is going to be like a thing in the future. And it just as like basically like an older person. I think it's a good activity for me as like an older person. Because... Um, it's just more fun than like just passively like watching some shit on YouTube or something. Anyway, so that's what I want. So basically, if anybody's watching, uh, if you want to do an improv, I don't. If you're like a weirdo, like if you're some gay guy or something, if you're some weirdo, or if you're anybody, anybody, just eat, there's nothing sexual about this. I'm not gonna stalk anybody. There's no like you can be mean to me. You can say anything. We can just at the end of it, we're miles apart, and we can just be like, hey, that was fun. Like whatever, it's all good. There's no wrong answer in improv, but basically, if you want to do improv games with me, uh, my email is seanpatrickrichards415 at gmail.com, and my phone number is 510-309-7273. Uh, and just, if you have Zoom, we can do improv games for like five minutes at a time, and I can give you this program where you can use uh, costumes, or just do it without a costume. Anyway, offer stands indefinitely.